Hey guys, this is Die Fly Fish. Just want to show you something. This is again the magnet. Um, this is what I would consider, you know, the north against north, and this is the north or the south against north. Okay, I'm going to show you the effect that plasma has on these spinning fields. So again, we have, uh, you know, the combined north against north with the scalar center, and the south against north here. I'm going to do the south against north, which is a normal conventional block wall here first and you'll see how plasma affects the spinning rotating magnetic field. So I'll get this going here and I have a little spark gap and I'm going to spin these neodymium magnets in the spark gap. Alright, ready? Okay, here we go. As you can see it's hitting the top and the bottom magnetic fields, the north and south, simultaneously. If I place it in there you can see how far it's spreading out, okay? and I can reverse it about the same thing okay so that's the type of magnetic field effect that we're seeing with the spinning discs in plasma now I'm going to stop this and I'm going to switch to the scalar field again this is north against north we're going to put it back in the plasma field itself and I'll have you notice the definite difference that it makes, okay? Now, notice, we're seeing all the energy appearing to go in between that, those two magnets, but it has a definitely a different effect in the both of forward and backwards, so the distribution of these charges is definitely affected unless you take it all the way to one side, or if you take it all the way to the other side, If you go dead center in the middle, it pretty much confines that energy to the central portion of that magnet, which again I find sort of fascinating. So it seems to columnate the electric field better with this type of scalar arrangement than with the conventional north versus south. Thanks for watching.